is Greg Abelin with Dow Building Solutions. What we've done is we've built a display here to simulate two different wall assemblies that represent uh, assemblies that meet the current International Energy Code. The top one is a 2 by 4 assembly, 7 16th inch OSB, 1 inch styrofoam or extruded polystyrene, and vinyl siding. The cavity fill is an R13 fiberglass mat. The second one is a 2 by 6 assembly with 7 16th inch OSB, building paper, vinyl siding, and again, the cavity fill in this case is R21 fiberglass mat. We've cooled down the inside of this assembly to represent a 20 degree Fahrenheit environment, similar to what we would see in the northern climates in the wintertime. Let's go around to the other side and I'll show you the effects of that, uh, of that simulation. So at 20 degrees Fahrenheit, what we've done is we've simulated what the performance would be when you take into consideration moisture in the interior of the home and how it will affect the sheathing uh, within the wall cavity. We open this up and here we see, again, we see our R13 fiberglass bat in 2x4 wall assembly. We've simulated by cooling down the outside of this with a refrigerant at 20 degrees Fahrenheit. You feel the surface of the blue board, which is R5 and OSB, and it is warm. There's no condensation. What that means is any moisture vapor that is passed through this, through this outlet in this case, is not condensing on that surface because that surface is above the dew point. On the other hand, when we take that same thing into consideration with our second example, which is the 2x6 assembly with R21 in the, in the cavity, OSB, again, building paper was on the other side. That moisture vapor passed through this outlet up against this surface, which is at 20 degrees and frozen, and you see condensation building up and freezing on the surface. This is an issue because you're going to get moisture in this assembly, and it can potentially lead to issues of that relate to mold and mildew.